Welcome to another video. So this is a very short video. This is just about how the change of base formula for logarithms works. Um, we're, it's important and we see it a lot and it's also going to help you evaluate if you ever need to evaluate some logarithms and your calculator won't let you change a base from 10 or E. So it won't let you evaluate for that. So I've written the change of base formula twice. You'll see it because sometimes we forget, especially when we're just learning this, that formulas are, are a lot of times two-way streets. So here's what the change of base formula says. It says if you have a logarithm with whatever base you, you have, you can always change the base of your logarithm by creating a ratio. Pick whatever base you want. So if I have a log base, I don't know, whatever, A, you can change it to log base anything of B over log base, same, same base of A. I usually like to say the base goes in, I used to teach it a long time ago, the base goes in the basement, like on the denominator. So the argument is in the attic and the base goes in the basement. It was super cheesy, but it actually worked. So if your argument goes to the top on your numerator and your base goes to the bottom in your denominator and you can pick whatever different base you want. This is going to create the same exact expression as that does. It's very useful, a different way that we can, can combine logarithms. It's the last one or expand logarithms, the last one. Typically, what do you want for your base? Well, you're probably not gonna change a base of three into a base of square root of 11 because it's, that'd be really difficult to use and work with. So normally, we're changing our base that we don't necessarily want to use or that we have a hard time evaluating into a log base 10, common log, or a log base E, natural log. That is by far the most common. Why? Your calculators, almost all of them, have the ability to plug in log base 10 and log base E, log and natural log, but not necessarily a lot of the bases. If they do, then this is fine. This is a great format. No problem, leave it. But a lot of times it won't let you. So if you have log base five of 18, and you go, uh, I, can't, I can't even plug that into my calculator. Most of you can't. Can we change it to a log base 10 or a log base E? Yes, if we use a ratio, we can do that. You've also noticed that I've written this backwards. That's because we should understand that if I have two logs with the same base being divided, this is not a subtraction. It does not create a fraction inside your logarithm. It does not create subtraction. Please don't go back and relearn what I just taught you in that last video. Please don't do that. This right here, you can combine it, but it takes change of base to do it. You can expand it, but it takes change of base to do it. So two logs being divided with the same base, you create one logarithm, and this denominator becomes your base. This numerator becomes the argument of your logarithm. Fascinating stuff. So let's get back to this example. How would we expand this? Well, we can take and make any, any logarithm we want, provided we create this ratio of two logs of the same base. So I can pick log base anything over log base anything as long as it's the same base with 18 as the argument of the numerator logarithm and five as the argument of the denominator logarithm. Now, I could put a seven, I could put a square root of seven, I could put a seven, I could put 700 if I really wanted to, but that might not help as much as keeping this log base 10. So on your calculator, if you had to evaluate log base five of 18, you probably would do log 18, close that parentheses, divide log five, and it will give you the decimal approximation for what that is. The other way, and you should try both. The other way, what if you picked log base E? Well, I can change this, just like this, into any logarithm with whatever base I want, provided I make a ratio with this of log in the same base. So ln, that's log base E, ln, that's log base E. Make sure your 18 goes here and your five goes here. Argument on the numerator, base and the denominator. Now you should try it and hopefully it's, it works for you well. Try log, press the log button, press 18, close your parentheses, divide by log five. Then try ln 18, close your parentheses and then divide by ln five. It'll give you the same number. So while they look different, all of these represent the same exact expression. They all are the same exact number, just different ways to look at it. Different bases that we have, same stuff. So we're gonna practice two more very, very quickly. Um, 
I'm not going to go with any other base besides log base 10 or log base E because those are by far the most common. You can put whatever base you want here. It doesn't really matter. And sometimes that suits you. Sometimes it really helps to do that, to have a certain base for whatever problem you have. But that depends on the context. In general, we usually use a common log or a natural log. So I'm going to show a common log here and a natural log here for a certain reason. So log base square root of 5, no one wants to deal with square root of 5 as a base of 7. We're going to separate this and we're going to make something a little bit easier for us to deal with. So I'm going to pick two logs with the same base, whatever that base is. In this case, it's log base 10. I'm going to make sure that my 7 goes on my numerator and my square root of 5 goes on my denominator. If you had to evaluate this now, you could. You could press log 7, close your parentheses, divide log of square root of 5, and it's going to give you a decimal approximation for whatever that is. Because this is really awkward to think about. Uh, what power do you need to raise the square root of 5 to in order to get 7? That's <laughs> really difficult. This will allow you to, to approximate that. And it will give you that exponent, which is kind of interesting. The last one, log base pi of e. Wow, we're really trying to screw it up here, aren't we? Um, log base pi of e, well, that might be quite difficult to plug into a calculator if, you're, if it does not allow you to plug in for base. Now, let me, let me say this. If it does allow you to, you can just use that. Some calculators do. Say log, whatever your base is, pi, and then of e. It'll give you a decimal approximation. But even still, sometimes we need to write this with a, a base e or base 10. Now, I'm not going to choose a common log because I'm looking at my problem understanding that I've got an E there. If I have an E, it's going to be really nice if I use a logarithm with the same base. So I'm going to pick a base of E. So log base E over log base E. Why do I do that? Well, because I've seen the E. And when we compose functions, which is E to the first power, oh, it's an exponential raised to the first power, over a log base E, that inherently this is very important for us solving just a, a little bit in the next video, the next two videos. If you compose a function with its inverse, so in other words, you pick a log that matches the base of your exponential, you've inherently matched a, a, a function with its inverse, that composition is going to simplify. It's going to give you 1. Do you remember that? Remember that this base of e, this says e raised to what power it gives you e to the first? That would be 1. Or you have a Function composed on its inverse, or if ln matches up with e, your bases are the same. We had a property for that. Either way you go, that is going to give you a 1. This simplifies. ln of pi does not simplify. And that's as good as we can make it. Now, that should ask you, kind of, uh, begging them a question. So, can you do something a little bit different with stuff like this? The answer is, yeah, you can. You can pick a different base that matches a piece of it that you want to simplify. So, what if I didn't pick log base 10? Now, we normally would do that. What if I didn't? What if it benefited me? Like, we're going to see in some of our solving. Very limited, but some of our solving. What if I picked uh, log base 18? Why? Well, because what if I needed my numerator to be 1 for some reason? Or what if I needed these bases to switch? Well, I could do that. We would get log base 18 of 18. Oh my gosh, this is an exponential composed on a logarithm of the same base. That's going to give you a 1. Over log base 18 of 5. You know, wait a minute, didn't the base and the argument just change spots? Yes, and that's exactly what happened here. This was our base, e was our argument. Wait, no, e is our base, and pi is the argument, but it's on the denominator. Just like this is now on, the reverse of this is now on the denominator. It's kind of, kind of interesting, hopefully you see that. Um, so sometimes that's relevant for us. We can always match up whatever base we want. So we can always pick whatever base we want for logarithm as long as you use the change of base formula to do it. So I hope that makes sense. Um, that's just a little bit of practice, making sure we understand how this works as far as expanding. Combining, we see this more when we're solving logarithms. So I'll show that to you when we get there. Um, most of the time, you're going this way so that you can evaluate things a little bit easier. Hope you're enjoying the videos. I will see you for another one in just a bit.